Hey, Sly Gumby here, and in this video, I will be going over the basic move set and showing off the basic and advanced how to videos for the Peacekeeper. This is a very basic how to video, and I'll probably end up making an advanced guide series later on as well. If you are just getting into For Honor or having issues with the timing of some of the moves or just want to verify that what you're doing is actually the correct move, then hopefully this video will help. Along with me going through all the moves, I will also have a controller on screen with live inputs so that you can see when each button is pressed. This may help some of you button mashers learn the timing as well. So on that note, let's get into it. Renown. Earn more renown in 1v1 fights by killing enemy heroes and getting killing streaks to unlock your feats in a match. Revenge mode boosts damage and health. All attacks are uninterruptible. Parry and throws knock enemies down. Attacks are auto-parried on activation. Defense reflex. Your guard stance only remains active for a limited time. Deflect. Deflect by dodging in the direction of an incoming attack just before impact. Deflect can be followed up by a reposting stab. Dagger cancel. Cancel any heavy attack during the startup with a light attack. The attack inflicts a bleed effect. Stab cancel. Press X in between stabs to back away. Zone attack. Cancel zone attack after the first attack with B. So going back to the defense reflect. Your guard stance only remains active for a limited time. Basically, assassin characters, unlike everybody else, if you throw your guard to a left side guard, you can see the white disappears after a limited time. So you can only auto block for a limited time. You have to physically move your thumbstick every time the opponent attacks you. Otherwise, you will not auto block. Dagger cancel. Cancel any heavy attack during the startup with a light attack. The attack inflicts a bleed effect. We'll do a right side heavy. Do an overhead heavy. Basically, right when you press the heavy, you want to immediately follow up with a light. And you'll cancel into a light bleed. Stab cancel. Press X in between stabs to back away. So if you grab somebody... Do the three stabs with light attack. So we'll do a grab, one stab, and then we'll cancel out with X. I believe you can direct the kick as well. So we'll grab, bleed, kick to the left. Yep. We'll do it to kick to the right. Zone attack. Cancel zone attack after the first attack with B. Okay, so the zone is a double. One, two. Cancel. Got it. Twisting blades. Light, light, heavy. Do sides. Do it overheads. Dervish strikes. Light heavy. Do right side. Overhead. Sword Dance. Heavy, heavy. From the side. Overhead. Slipping Lunge. While not in guard mode. So while sprinting, you can press X. Basically a running grab. Oh. 
deep gouge. Heavy, then followed by a light. The heavy has to connect. From the side. Overhead. Dashing thrust. Forward dash followed with a heavy. Sidestep strike. Sidewards dash with a heavy. I believe you can deep gouge these also. Yep. Yeah, you can follow the right trigger up or heavy with a light to cause the deep gouge after you do either of these two. Stab. So you grab, if the grab connects, you can stab up to three times. Now currently in console versions, this bleed effect is broken and it only affects one stab. Uh, on PC they fixed it and coming soon to console it will apply three stackable bleeds for a total of I want to say 36 bleed damage. One, two, three. Yeah, it's just one bleed effect. And you can cancel out of that at any time. So grab, cancel. Oh, wait. To cancel with an X. I don't think you can kick them after the third. Nope. Posting stab requires the deflect followed by a light attack and that is the last move. So let's switch this to a level one. Oh, before Hoyo. You can cancel heavies just like everybody else. So here's an overhead heavy cancel sideways. You basically press B right after you initiate the, the, the attack. All right, so now we're gonna work on the deflect. Deflect by dodging in the direction of an incoming attack just before impact. Deflect can be followed up with reposting stab. So we'll just do deflect, then I'll show the reposting stab. There's a deflect. There's a deflect. There's a deflect. And her posting stab is the same thing, but followed up with a light attack. It's a bleed. Swift and lethal, but strikes at short range. Use high mobility to counter your enemy or back away to safety. When locked, match the enemy's guard with right stick to block. Be careful, the peacekeeper's defense is only up for a short time. The peacekeeper has three attack chains. Twisting blades, light, light, heavy. Dervish strikes light heavy. Sword dance heavy heavy. Switch guards as you use these chains to confuse the enemy. When surrounded, light plus heavy to perform a zone attack. While sprinting, Press X to perform a slipping lunge. Combine a dodge front plus heavy for a dashing thrust.
Combine a side dodge with a heavy to counter your enemy's attacks with a sidestep strike. Light attack quickly after initiating a heavy strike to surprise your enemy with a dagger cancel bleed. Light attack up to three times after a guard break to stab your enemy repeatedly. If you don't time your stabs right, your enemy will automatically break out of guard break. Swift and lethal, but strikes at short range. Use high mobility to counter your enemy or back away to safety. Combine your high mobility and multiple bleed attacks to put enemies under pressure while staying at bay. Inflict bleed effect, then back away, and once the effect has expired, jump back to apply bleed again. Light attack quickly after a heavy hit to follow up with the guaranteed dagger combo and apply bleed. Dodge in the direction of an incoming attack just before impact for a deflect. Light attack quickly after a deflect for a guaranteed reposting stab and apply bleed. X during a heavy attack can cancel into guard break and connect your stab. A during a heavy attack to cancel into a dodge to escape, connect the dashing thrust, or perform a sidestep strike. X after a stab in order to back away from your enemy. Use this to surprise your enemy, reset combat, or escape. Alright, well that wraps up this video. Hopefully it was a little helpful. I plan on doing this for every character along with some purple gear review vids and possibly some unlockable vids. So stay tuned for more For Honor. I also will be covering any patch notes, updates, and DLC. One last thing before I take off, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slightgumby from 8pm to 2am Pacific Standard Time. So feel free to swing by and say hi or jump into some games if we have room. Also, some of my buddies are asking me to host a weekly 1v1 tournament. Are any of you interested if I do this? There wouldn't be any money on the line, but I would possibly re record it and upload it to YouTube. Anyway, let me know along with any other comments or suggestions. And with that, I'm out. Hashtag nights.